Hi there, my name is Richard Brummel here at Charter House Auctioneers in Sherbourne, Dorset and I'm doing a walk and talk for you today. This is actually part of our huge May auction coming up on Friday the 25th of May. So this is the second day of that two day auction. Now coming up in this, so we've got around about 700 lots and as usual I'm just gonna go through and pick out a few of my favorite, favorite lots here. This here, lovely little sort of Dalton uh, Kingswear boxing jug here. Very, very rare to see boxing in anything really. And as a result, old Mr. Mendoza, the boxer there, he's estimated around about the sort of the five to 600 pounds. Coming up through here, we've got Ladro, we've got Worcester. Again, something which is always, I find, very, uh, very distinctive is Claris Cliff here. And they've got a really bright, bold, geometric designs in orange and blue and yellow. Um, and a bowl like that, probably around about a hundred pounds. Um, there's really, not hugely valuable because the shape itself is actually quite plain. Coming up through here, we've got more ceramics and glass. We have some some opalescent glass here with the birds on it. Um, quite an icy. It's French, but sadly no, it's not La Ligue uh, for you eagle-eyed spotters there. Up uh, through here, more miscellaneous, and these are great fun. Um, uh, just a lovely little sort of late Victorian, or possibly into the Edwardian period, a little sort of frilly glass shade here. Um, I love this sort of a uh, Art Nouveau. Benson style sort of mount on it there. Something like that, you know, we do a, a pack and sending uh, facility at Charterhouse, something like that, probably around about 100 pounds, 150 pounds. Rare to see, obviously a lot of being lost over the years. Up through here, this is great fun as well. I've always been, you know, if you want to collect something on a modest level, it's a lovely late Victorian drainer here, so you can put your cabbage or whatever it is on to, to drain it. Transfer printed in blue and white there. And that also comes with a little continental porcelain plate, the two of which estimated probably around about the sort of 40 or 50 pounds. Um, so quite a nice little, quite a nice little lot there. So we, we have a broad variety of lots, broad variety of uh, values as well. Up through here, we'll that's some silver, that's on day one, we'll talk about that later on. Coming down through here, we've got a horse, and poor old Dobbo, he's quite a beefy looking thing, isn't he? But what is it so beefy? It's Mr. Pug, good old Pugsy Dog. Now, Mr. Pug is great because he needs no exercise, he has no vet's bills, and he doesn't need a thing. So he's made of terracotta. He's Austrian, probably dating to around about maybe 1910 and that sort of area. He's had a, quite a harsh life. There's part of his ear which has fallen off. It's just where the glue has dried out before. Um, also, he's had various parts of his legs broken off over the years. He basically was kind of operating as a doorstop. So he had quite a, quite a harsh life. The client in Somerset, they're downsizing, they're moving. Um, and he's worth probably between sort of £100 and £150. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if that one actually goes on to do quite a lot better than that. Down through here, more miscellaneous. We have boxes, we have lanterns, we have bronzes, we have works of art, we have, we have tantalus here. I always think this would be worth quite a bit more if there's actually something in it to drink. But another one of my favorite lots is this, the Household Wants Indicator. Now this is what you had, basically it's a shopping list before, before uh, Google um, and uh, what's the other one called, Abby? What's the other one called? Alexa, that's it. Well done. Thanks for, thanks for giving me a pointer on that one. Um, uh, before you could put on your shopping list here, and you've got various things here. You've got beers, various. You've got bird food. You've got fish dried, fish fresh, fish potted, fish shell, and fish tin. And basically, you just sort of say, right, we'll have some, some of those here. You can get borax and all sorts of wonderful things. Um, this is estimated between £100 and £150. Really quite a, quite a funny little thing, that. And I'm sure that actually that will attract a lot of interest. Moving up through here into one of our other four cell rooms is uh, we've got a huge collection of Bezik. Um, Naomi Grabham is our Bezik expert here. Uh, three bits I'm just going to talk about briefly to you. Uh, it, first up is the, the Dulux dog, there we go. Um, marketed, piece of marketing there. And he's estimated between sort of 240 and 280 pounds. We've got the rare colorway here of the rocking horse gray, um, the shire horse here. Now sadly this one's got a bit of restoration. You do have to look at this very, very carefully. And as a result, that's estimated between 100 pounds and 150 pounds. But this is the rare piece. I should have to be very, very careful. This is a Bezic Red Lincoln. Now this is, is one of the rarest of all the Bezic bulls and he's estimated around about a couple of thousand pounds. Um, so it's gonna be very, very interesting uh, how he sells on the day. But the Bezic market, we see it's a lot of Bezic. We should be having a bid is coming in from Australia, bidding online, of course. We have sheep, cattle, horses, jockeys. We've even got the King and um, Prince Philip there as well. But also up here, another collection is we have a very large collection of walking sticks and also walking stick holders. Lovely pair of riding boots there made into a little stick stand. This, however, 
is my favorite one here. Um, this is a system walking stick, so it does a great deal. It's got, um, just up in here, it's a little Vesta section with a little strike. On the end, we've got a little whistle, maybe for attracting women or something, or maybe men, I don't know, uh, um, just through there. Uh, if we unscrew this and it all comes to pieces, it's a real sort of inspector gadget, we've got something for salt and pepper. Um, it all unscrews, and when it un unscrews, uh, we, the, the cane section comes down, and we have a knife and fork section. And obviously, when you're out walking, walking the hills and the mountains with your walking stick and you're stopping for a picnic, you've got a corkscrew. One of the most important things to take on a picnic there, a corkscrew. Uh, the rest of the cane, it all unscrews, and we have uh, various knives and forks and bits and pieces. It's made, it's, uh, it's Victorian, it's 1888, it's silver top there. Value on that between sort of six and nine hundred pounds. Again, a very, very rare one. But we've got other walking sticks there also estimated from about 50 pounds to 500. We've also got a huge amount of furniture in here. We've got chairs, tables, settles, soft furnishings, half tester beds, Georgian tall boys, Edwardian music cabinets and bits and pieces. And there's around about sort of two, just over 200 lots of furniture there. But also David Baines, our wine expert, he's going to put together the little lot of a, around about 50 lots of wine, port and spirits. We've got whiskey, such as this little bottle here, uh, one of the sort of specialist bottles. And what does this say on here? Oh, good, I've got my bifocals on, there we go. The Glen Roth Distillery, distilled in 1979, bottled in 1994. That comes with a tube as well. And that's around about 250 pounds. We've got a couple of bottles of Chateau de Chem here, 1990. Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? Of course I do. And the value on those two between 150 and 200 pounds. And finally, we sell a lot of port, and this is quite a modern bottle of port. There's actually six bottles in the, in the lot. And I think the estimate on this little lot is probably around about 150 pounds. So there's a bit of a, a quick walk and talk through day two. That's coming up on May the 25th. Um, of, uh, of, of the month here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're interested in a few lots, ping us an email or give us a ring. Uh, failing that, maybe we'll watch you bidding online and I hope you enjoyed the walk and talk today.